Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Becky and today we are going to be making this kind of a flower pinwheel block which is part of the walkabout quilt along. So if you've missed any of our previous videos for the quilt blocks I'm going to be referring you back to one of the first videos which will give you an overall view of the walkabout quilt along. So if you've missed any of that, make sure you go back to the beginning. There's going to be a link in the description for that first video. That will give you all the details that you need, as well as the information on how you can get a copy of the PDF patterns that we are going to be using during this. You can also head to my website at Patchwork Posse and then in the search look up Walkabout Quilt Along and all of those blog posts will show up to help you get you on track and catch you up. Let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at what block we are going to be sewing today. So as you can see from this block, super cute. I did this one a little bit differently. I mixed my backgrounds, so I didn't have a background in the pinwheel like the pattern shows, but I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of just add some more interest to it, so I did. So you're gonna need some fabric for maybe your little petals heel as well as the center. So let's sew the block. All right, so for this block, we are gonna be sewing kind of this pinwheely flower block. And I've got everything pre-cut and labeled. What we are going to do first is take our light piece or our background, um, and then we are going to, on the wrong side, draw a line. from corner to corner using our pencil. So if you have a marker on your machine or, or a um, piece of tape that does this for you, you don't need to draw these lines, but um, that's the first step we are going to do. So these two pieces get paired up with C. So I'm just gonna take these over to the sewing machine, make sure right sides are together and we are going to stitch on both sides of that drawn line. So as you can see, I've got my drawn line and I'm gonna stitch a quarter inch on each side of that line. All right, with my pieces sewn, we're gonna cut on the drawn line, which is right in between those two sewn pieces. And now we are gonna press them open to either the light or the dark side. I prefer the darker fabric side, so then you don't get a shadow on your background or anything like that, because it will hide the seam. So we're just gonna repeat that for all four pieces. And now we have four half square triangles by sewing those two pieces together. So before we move on, this is a critical step. You always, always, always trim, trim, trim your half square triangles. So I like to use my block lock ruler, and that's what that looks like. It has a little groove in the middle where that hits your seam and it sets right in. So check the instructions and for the size that you need to square this up, but always, always square up your half square triangles. Don't ask me how I know that, right? We all have our own experiences in learning how to quilt. So we just gotta repeat this for each half square triangle. And I know there's a couple different ways of doing this. I love the block lock ruler. It works really well for me. It opens everything up. It makes sure my seams are laying flat because sometimes I don't press super perfectly either. So this catches anything like that. All right, so now that I have these all trimmed and squared up, I can go ahead and lay the block out. So I'm just going to move everything over here. 
And then I'm going to use the pictures. Let's see. So to make sure that everything is laid out properly. So my B is at the top. Make sure your right sides are out and your E. I think these might go this direction. Just depends on the center. Yep, there we go. And so these go here. And I'm missing one piece under here. So again, review the layout because these pinwheels, the points don't touch. So you kind of need to look and see, make sure that they are all spinning the correct direction. So now I can take this to the sewing machine and put my block together. All right, with my block laid out, I'm going to go ahead and start with these two units. I'm going to sew all four of them together. Because the top unit is finished, I can go ahead and sew one of the half square triangles to the side of it. I'm going to make those seams go to the dark side because I don't want to see a shadow. I'm going to sew this is the um, center area, so I'm going to send sew it to the center block and then this one gets sewn to the other half square triangle so just make sure you've got the pinwheels in the right direction as well as the position of this background fabric with your color this goes to the center place, so I'm going to cut that one. Now here comes my second pinwheel piece. And this is my center block, so I'm going to open this up. Possibly, there we go, and then stitch this side down. And my last piece, I go ahead and sew that down as well to the pinwheel or a half square triangle. I'm gonna make sure my seam is going the right way. Don't want those twisted. So now that I have this sewn, I can go ahead and kind of lay this out and stitch these together. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and pin these seams right here so they line up nicely. There's that seam as well as the other one. So if we can get these to line up nice and nest together, the block will lay flat and look really good. So we've got the top part of the block done 
And now we are going to line up this bottom part and sew this together. Again, I am going to put the previously sewn piece on the top so I can see exactly where those seams are going and I can pin them in place to make sure nothing gets twisted or moved or shifted and um, that the seams will nest first of all and then lay nice, nice and flat. So my block is done. The seams where they all meet looks really good. I've got good points. Super happy with how that turned out. So now I need to just give it a good press.